White men, on behalf of the United States Army and the reception center here at this camp, we're glad to welcome you here today and into the United States Army. I took basic training at uh, Fort MacArthur, San Pedro, California, 1939. Well, I was a gun commander on the three-inch anti-aircraft guns. Speed in firing. Well, they sure wasn't like they are today. We had to load those 90 millimeters by hand. All his hard work and dedication would soon be put to the test. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. America was at war. Well, when the war broke out, they took us up to Boston. We got on the Queen Mary. Forty days later, we got off. Once the soldiers landed in Australia, they spent time recovering and training. Not for long, though. The war needed them, and they soon set off for New Guinea. On April the 12th, 1942, we looked up. There's 90, well, they estimated it. 96 Jap planes coming overhead. It was Sergeant Osborne, his men, and their 90 millimeter guns that stopped many of those planes from reaching their targets. We got a few of them. By stopping those planes, they saved lives. I don't know, we just had a job to do and we did it, that's all. The American success against the Jap in New Guinea, a saga of courage and bravery in the face of incredible odds. It's been over 70 years since World War II, and we lose veterans from that generation every day. So if you have the opportunity, spend time with one. They will give you a perspective the history books can't. Army Sergeant Jennifer Rooks, 16th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, Fort Bliss, Texas.